Oh, it's milky that, mate. Is that my date? I didn't have the protein in that. What to do if you're uh, if you're stuck out here alone? <clears throat> well, if you're stuck out here alone, one thing you can do to sort out your hands is do a small poo, put it inside your glove, and use it as nature's hand warmer. There can be harmful microbes in that poo, but it's better than frostbite. Do it. Oh, <laughs> this is a lake. It's very cold, mate. If I had a towel, I would maybe dip my toes in. But I don't, so I'm not gonna. Right, I'm gonna eat some dates and keep walking. It's beautiful though. It's English countryside, even though it's Welsh, whatever. <laughs> What's going on, lad? Are you watching? Are you watching Black Mirror? Oh, mm. sorry, that's sorry, I get it all the time. Sorry about the chaos, we smoothed in one day. Which I mean, I think we've got something. Well, expansion. For gameplay, we're going to be a hit. You heard it here first. You will keep up. No, I won't keep up. That's called his new one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Bedford the Bundes. <laughs> Caught me. <laughs> Imagine this in like a newspaper. <laughs> Man caught with dog. <laughs> Fitness Instagram dude. Caught in bed with dog. <laughs> Maxi. Oh, oh, look at you. You just give me a wet tongue in the ear, mate. What a handsome guy. So handsome. I think he likes being on the camera, he's looking at it. He loves it, doesn't he? Yeah. Hi, everyone. This is my mate, Max. Max is... Beautiful dog. Bro. Spend some quality time together. I'm just going to miss each other when I go to Australia. And Max as well. <laughs> Hi hey everyone, it's Saturday the... It's just Saturday, Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's Sunday the 20th of January. I'm going away very soon, so I'm spending some quality time with my bird. And there's a dog down there that I'm really good mates with, but it's quite camera shy, so he's not going to be in this clip. But it's the main point of the clip. Anyway, I mean, as a side note, coincidentally, I'm also wearing some Legend London clothes, which are new. Just to keep it to like top half, because like... I've got the jeans on currently, even though the jeans are my favourite jeans in the whole world. Um, so there's hoodies, which are pretty sick, and also... What's that called? A Borg, Borg. jacket. It's very warm, mate. I won't need it soon, because I'm going to Australia. But you might, if you're staying in England. There's a link in the description if you want to buy some. They're, they're good. I like them. I like them. I wear them. Look, here's footage of me wearing them. Weird. You call me weird? Yeah. Also, I've been working on my sprint. Max is like, what are you doing? <laughs> Everyone pulls me apart with my sprint on. Why? I don't know, well, apparently I run like a dwarf. No offense to dwarf. <laughs> In fact, well, it's. I didn't 
say it, everyone else said it. <laughs> it's because I got this. Apparently it's very wasteful. <laughs> in terms of energy, it's not very energy efficient. <laughs> but the key, the key point is, I'm still ratted, mate. <laughs> still do a fucking nine second, 100 meter dash. Oh, shit. Oh. <gasps> oh my lord. That looks great, babe. Yeah, it's recording this time, babe. Some fumes. Yeah. Mags missed the money shot on the uh, post eggs. Hey. Oh, hey, buddy. Alright, we're working out where to go on holiday, basically. We're trying to figure shit out because we want to go to. I'm thinking of another Italy trip. But we're also. I'm just going fast as well. We want to do Japan. I'm not a dog anyway off. But the best time to go to Japan is either April, which is probably not doable for us, or October. And in October, it's the Rugby World Cup. You got it. So thanks, babe. So I don't know. I don't know how big the Rugby World Cup is. If that's gonna make everywhere like. Thing is like Tokyo's busy anyway, man. Like, no places are busier than Tokyo, like, it's a, like, it is the busiest place on earth. So, like, I don't know if that'll make any difference or if it's just gonna make it, like, way more expensive or whatever. But we're trying to figure things out, because Japan will be fun, because we love fucking sushi, mate. Right? Sushi! In bed. So, we'll keep you posted on where we're going. We might do another Italy trip, like Portofino. And... You just can't go wrong in Italy. Italy's my favourite European destination, like... The food's just next level, and it's massive as well, and the city's just cool, so. All right, suggestions, people, give suggestions. Mm -hmm. Where should we go? Where should we go on holiday? We can go anywhere we fucking want, mate, because we're on that big time YouTube. I actually, want, I actually want suggestions on, like, we're thinking Tulum, because I Tulum. think Tulum could be good. I don't know about Mexico, because I feel like you just stay on the fucking resort and that, and if you go out, you get beheaded by a cartel. No, that's not necessarily true. T someone let me know if you get beheaded by a cartel in Mexico. Oh, the other option would be to do... Do you know what I Where did you say? Baha Cuba would be sick. Cuba in the Bahamas, we said, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Exuma and places like that. Yeah, yeah. You just want to see pigs, so. Yeah, that's where we pigs. We thought if we did a Japan Pig. trip... <laughs> <laughs> we thought if we did a Japan trip, we could do... Tokyo, Osaka, and then hit Hong no, Kong Kyoto. on the way back. Kyoto. And then hit Hong Kong on the way back. India would be sick, but not with the But New Zealand... Yeah, but I'm going to Australia, babe. So what? I'm not going back over there. It's a fucking distance. Like, I don't want to go to New Zealand if you want. I don't want to go to India. Do you want to go to New Zealand? I'd go I New actually Zealand. think New Zealand would be sick. Well, we can go to New Zealand if you want, babe. You just fucking let me know. Just... You give me the destination, mate. Right? And a few quid. You're so cute. You're very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you later. Bye. Keep you posted. Bye. Bye. Get ready to check out the actual most optimal pre-workout in motherfucking history. One sec, one sec. Some coffee in a bolt pad as mug, so we're repping. And then we got a fucking massive case of dates, mate. Straight from Palestine, lad. Check this shit out. Obviously already gobbled most of them, like, but... Wow. This is the combo, mate. That's the anabolic combo right there. For some new sunnies, mate. 12 quid from River Island. So hopefully these will do me for the whole trip. I won't lose them. Because I'm definitely going to lose them. Alright, so the plan for today is we're nipping back to Runcorn to see me Mar and Dar. Because I'm going away for about six weeks and you just have to. You know, I have to say bye to your mum and dad. Also, my mum's cooking a roast, so that'll be nice. So while we're at home, I'm gonna... While we're at home, I'm gonna train at Body FX, the original Mecca, the UK Mecca. And what I thought I'd do is get a ruthless chest pump and then get a clip of me, like, posing so that we can get, like... Because we've had all the accurate physique updates, haven't we? We've had all the physique updates where I'm like stood against the white wall and it's first thing in the morning and it's all like a fair test and shit. But sometimes I, I think you can actually see the, the effect of a bulk better 
like when you're pumped because your actual pump gets ruthless if that's a sentence that's not really a sentence but i hope you know what i'm getting at so maybe i'll put this clip maybe this should go in the bulkin series clip bulkin series vid though i don't know fuck knows basically there's a ruthless chest pump incoming that was the whole point of this clip all right my quads are burning from crouching time the brothers are going to open these before the younger one goes my oh, fuck <laughs> <laughs> before the younger one this time has special significance as the youngest of the two brothers is going to migrate migrate in a few days time okay let's fucking open this shit and get on the road lad <laughs> yeah, he's just wondering what the fuck's going on, man. Oh my god. Give me a head rush that, mate. My foot. I nearly burst the blood vessel. It's like, it's like, it's like RP9 on bench press. <sighs> Alright, yours goes in the back, lad. Oh, does it, lad? Yeah, lad. Right. This one will happen is I'll drink yours, won't I, kid? That's definitely what I've got off. Yeah, it's the worst. Oh, that's the worst, lad. What about this one then? Where does that go? It's on the floor. Alright, let's go, Jim. Everyone should have bought all the time. Kid, kid questions. Are you going to answer it now? Is that rocking slightly? It is, yeah. Yeah, that's because you are. You can stay still. Yeah, you're going to answer the kid question now. No, 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 no. Okay. That's, he told me to keep him anonymous as well. Oh, Alright, okay. So this lad called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go and get a ruthless chest pump. The other day, I <clears throat> came to do my push workout. I wasn't really ready to do it because my chest was just still a bit in fucking bits, mate, from just benching into oblivion. And so... <laughs> and so, uh... <gasps> don't rock the shit, man. Whoa. So I just did delts and tries. So now I'm just gonna tied up loose ends and just do like 20 sets on fucking chest so 20 exercises on chest and then five <laughs> sets for each exercise i'm not gonna film it really drop set. i'm not gonna film it really drop set super might get, set might get bits of both yeah bits of everything Whatever. <laughs> Twenty, ten, two point five, one point two five. Alright, so this will be the heaviest I've gone. So if I get five reps out with this, it'll be a, a five rep PB. I think, as far as I know, yeah, it definitely will. So let's see. The last one was actually quite difficult, but I'll be like, just pump myself up enough to do this, like so. Fuck it. Alright, it's actually quite a lot of weight for me, so I'm do have a bit of actual like nerves, you know, like kind of scared before I go into like shit like this. I just don't really want to end up on Louis Marco or like on fucking infinite elegant tensity or something on a gym fail compilation, so can't be asked with my arms, snapping.
Shout out to people how we're doing, how we're doing. It is Monday. It's a Monday. We're shooting some stuff for Legend London today. Hopefully we're gonna get done in time so that me and Mr. Legend London himself can do a bit of a podcast. Maybe, maybe not, no promises, we'll see. So that's it, I'm gonna take you with us. We're going to the gym. I'm fully kitted out in all the gear, mate. Let's do it. Yes, people, how are we doing? So it is time to pack. It's probably too late to pack, actually, because I leave in the morning and I haven't really started yet, so I'm probably going to get halfway through and realise that there's shit that I need that I haven't got, but we'll just cross those bridges when we come to them. So I'm going to set the camera down so that I can... Oh, shit. One sec, bear with me, people. Ah, all right, so... I'll tell you the, the plan. Right. I'm going to the LA Fit Expo, so I'll be in LA from Friday to Monday. It's a brief trip on my way to Australia. So, I couldn't find any direct flights from Manchester to LA on the day that I wanted to go. So instead, I'm gonna get the train down to London in the morning, then I'm gonna fly out of Heathrow the next day, so then I can go straight from Heathrow to LA. I don't have to fuck about like flying back the other way and then making a connection and then you know, I spent a lot of time in airports in my life, and if I can minimise that time going forward, that would be fucking swell, mate. So, I'm gonna try and condense all my belongings down into what I think I need for a six-week trip, which probably, you know, might be a challenge, but we'll see. Oh look, my bird got me some new flippies, mate. Sounding it. Thanks, Mags, because like they have seen better days, like Kip and them, mate. They need throwing out. All right, so luckily Australia is hot right now, so like the shit that I need is not gonna be like I don't need to take coats and stuff like that, so I can travel pretty light. I think I'm gonna pack everything. I think what I'll do is I'll lay everything out on my bed, and then I'll show you before I put in a case. I'm not gonna give you like a run through of like every pair of socks that I'm taking, but just the the general uh, rundown. So let's do it. I'm gonna take you through what I've packed real quick. This isn't the final draft, but it's just a you know initial gathering of shit. So I mean we'll run through it and then I'll have to see if it all fits in case. So I mean I did say minimal. I'm trying like bear in mind I'm, I'm gonna be away for like five or six weeks, so alright, let's do it. Okay, we got socks boxes, obviously. Staple, you do need those. We got a load of tanks because it's going to be fucking hot in Australia. We got a couple of bolt powders ones in there. We got a pair of joggers that are just comfy to lounge about in. Probably travelling those. We got 
There's like day wear, shorts, beige, black, brown, denim, just covering bases. And we've got some black, like sports shorts, rise gym stuff, just tanks and tees. The pair of rise leggings to wear under some shorts if you want to train in those. Straps, wraps, black jeans, blue jeans, some just plain like trousers. Might be a bit hot for denim, so I'm thinking like just like loose fitting kind of trousers. Maybe went a bit overkill on the t-shirts. We got loose fitting, it's a white, I think that's All Saints tee. This is just a plain like well fitting kind of River Island tee. It's a Levi's, whatever. Different colour t-shirts, covering bases. Only got a few shirts because I feel like I might buy a few out there. We got this bad boy just because, just for iconic purposes, because it just, you know, represents like a lot of shit. So we'll take that everywhere. Uh, Zara one. No, these are all Zara actually. Light. So yeah, that'd be cool in the heat. A couple of jackets. So these, this really lightweight kind of like pullover brown thing from Cos. Uh, North Face one, and then just a plain black jacket because that's just multi-purpose, mate. Using a lot, using that a lot. Jumper in case you go out. That's, again, that's from Cos. It's got a bit of a neck thing on it, and a plain black hoodie because everyone needs a plain black hoodie. All right, let's go to the technical shit. So let's do this first. Actually, the lens I've got on this camera. So for a start, what I'm filming on is a Canon 77D. So it's it's basically the same same as an 80D. You will have probably heard of an 80D. It's pretty much the same, basically. Same sensor in that anyway, it's just a bit lighter. It's not weather sealed, but it is lighter, so that's the, the payoff. And uh, anyway, this is what I'm filming on. The lens I'm on now is kind of my main vlogging lens. So that's a Canon, can you see that? Canon, yeah, 10 to 18 mil EFS. Uh, this is like my favorite vlogging lens. If you're doing like, landscapey shit you're out like in the country or whatever or like you know you're at the beach or whatever because this is so wide like look how wide that is and but also i feel like the, the colors you get out of this lens they just make it sick for like traveling with basically also it's dead light shit like that it's not the sharpest one and because it's so wide you get a bit, bit of distortion so i don't take my pictures on this lens that's what i use this for this is my sigma 1835 so i use that for like Anything that's like, <laughs> I want to use the word cinematic loosely because I don't exactly like do cinematic shit, but anything that I want it to be a bit sharper and that, I use that Sigma for. I use that Sigma for all of my pictures as well. So, what else we got? We got GoPro charging here. We got a drone. I actually fucking hate drones. I barely use them and I just, they're just a fucking ball ache, mate. Anyway, probably gonna take it. Might not actually. Speaker for like taking the beach and shit. Obviously, a little tripod. This is a ND filter for that. Uh, GoPro attachments, head strap. Basically, that's all you need. Head strap, I reckon. Uh, that's a suction cup as well to go on like outside cars and shit or whatever. Uh, hard drives just so I can keep all the content and also because because uh, Joe Filzerian work must continue, and that is where all the files like if i if i ever die right these are the the most prized possessions if i ever die somebody collect these and make the most ruthless compilation in history please like compilation slash tribute to me make me look sick all right i think that's it pretty much it's definitely not it i've definitely got more to do but whatever i'm gonna throw it in case Catch you soon. Jordan Lenny is my hero.